is I'm Grace. I'm Jasmine. And we're the DIY girls. girls. All right. So we have a the table centerpiece in this video. Okay. Why didn't you help me out? <laughs> I was playing with my sister. All right. She did pick the flowers out, so she kind of knew what was going to go in it. I kept waiting for her, and she never showed up because she was having fun time with her sister. Yeah. We were playing Roblox. <laughs> so we appreciate you guys spending a little bit of your time with us. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So you're not right every time we post a new video. And don't forget to share and hit that like button. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. To make a table center piece and i had these two look um wood pieces from dollar tree you see me kind of looking off to the other side because i got a camera a while back and i've been trying to figure out how to use it so you'll see me show next door on and off and then to my phone which is where i've been doing all my recording and editing and all that so I made mine sideways. You can definitely make yours standing up. You would just need four of the word love pieces instead of two like I did. So I grabbed two of these pieces from the crafter square section and I obviously cut off the tags and stuff and I hot glued them together. That is going to be my base. It is the same length of the words love you will need two hearts and two other palettes. If you don't have those palettes, because I know they don't come out often, you can use the wood pieces that also are wood planks, I guess you would say, but they're squared instead of rectangle and long like this. I kind of show you at one point. Now I decided that instead of painting them first, I would hot glue everything together so I had a pretty good idea on how it was going to look. And then after I would paint it. Now you could send this down because there were some rough um, spots on it that I really didn't notice until like when I was really painting it. But I think it came out so cute and again it was so simple. So I was trying to figure out which way to put the palettes and I finally decided I'm just gonna... I kind of like the farm house kind of look so I like this and it kind of goes with the ease so I just put it on the side, kind of like, um, so it kind of holds, I was trying to see if it would fit right in the middle, but it didn't, so. Cause I was trying for the little palette to go right in the middle. You see that little wood plank pieces, so that was one option. It popped off, so I had to go back and re-glue it again. And then I was putting extra. And then I put the next one, trying to make sure I leveled that one off. And again, same thing, just put hot glue, put the next one, and then again, just adding extra to make sure it doesn't come apart. And then that's it. All I did was paint it all white with my Waverly. And then I did paint the hearts in pink. I think it's called Pink Parfetti, Pink something from Apple Barrel. Okay, so you'll see me kinda. I think it came out so cute. And then I just hot glued those to the sides. Cause again, I love pink. So I was going for that pink and white decor, but you can definitely paint those red or paint the, um, the heart in the word love and red many options so again if you wanted for it to stand up like a vase um do four now here's why i messed up and i noticed after you can hot i put that um floral moss but i really should have waited till the end so i cut a piece with my foam cutter and i'll show you why so if it's perfect trying to glue on the sides of that was really hard I know, I've never been able to see them, but I know they do floral sheets too. Maybe you can glue it before you glue the foam to the piece. Um, either the floral piece or the moss. 
um, before you put it in. Because again, you see me here struggling and then I see I'm missing spots. So I'm trying to use the glue gun in between the pieces to cover up so you don't see so much of the foam. So again, I would do it before because again, it was a little harder. Not impossible, but again, a little harder. And then I just put the rest of the floral on top and that makes such a mess, that moss, not floral. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I think this came out so cute. And again, you're going to use whatever um, all my flowers and decor pieces are from Dollar Tree. Use whatever, again, you can use red roses, the little white ones, I'm using those. Um, but again, use whatever you like and whatever goes with your decor and matches your stuff. That's the best part about this. And again, I think it came out so cute on my table. You'll see it at the end, but again, just put them wherever you want. I think I used six. I want to say I used about six in total of the flowers. Again, you can use more, you can use less. I think it was three whites and three pinks and, or vice, I don't know. And then the heart, those hearts, those pink ones came from last year. I had them saved. I never got to do a craft with them. Um, my stores are a little behind on some other Valentine stuff that I know some stores have gotten and Flora is one of them. Oh my God, that, that flower floral thing is a mess. I will never buy it again. All those little white things were all over the place. I'm still picking up the little, they're like little foam pieces, like it's a mess. But again, real cute, real simple. The, part, the longest part again was painting the whole thing and I just waited, I left it overnight to dry and I went back the next day. And it, now, me being so obsessed with pink, I had no pink and white ribbon. Don't know how, don't know how that happened. But again, my stores don't have ribbon. They haven't gotten the yarn for Valentine's or any of this. So this is what I had from last year. So I'm hoping soon they'll get, I know I had to do a lot with the winter storms we've been having lately, so they haven't gotten their shipment. So I use this, but obviously I would have preferred um, a pink and white, so it kind of goes, but it still came out super cute. I made two of them. And then I just, I guess it added a little bit of an extra color. And that was it guys. Again, if you want to make them um, like a vase, just get four of the love words and then just put maybe one of the palettes on the bottom. Again, just made another one. I wanted one on each side because again, it's in my table so you can see it from all directions. And... Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this one. Let me know if you guys are going to make it a long table piece center like I did, or you're going to make it like a vase. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.